till I'm dead in the coffin. Uh, Got pimp my life like X pimp the whips. Uh, I spit for kicks like C said, don't trip. Man, God ain't done with me just yet. I'm better off, dog, but I'm far from perfect. Then I rap and reflect on the goodness of Christ. Paid the price for my life, now I'm super size. Billing to it, billing change by the compliment for Bella Hayes. Such craftsmanship with him. Alright guys, I hope you can see the TV, I hope you can hear the phone, It's I don't have it on me, uh, so it's hands free. I, I wanted to show you guys this little illustration, uh, I don't know how long the video is going to be, hopefully it's not too long, but I hope, more than anything, I hope that it blesses you. So, you, you should be able to see my phone on the TV here inside Miracle Way. So, let's try it. Hey Siri. Turn on voice control. Okay, I turned on voice control. All right, so check this out. No hands, all right? Hey Siri. Oh wait, no more hey Siri because I already did the voice control. Tap Bible. Okay, pan up. If I did it right, you should see a little dot on the screen scrolling up and down. Pan up. Pan up. See? So you should be able to see it. Alright. Go home. Go home. I didn't bring the speakers to hook it up. Uh, let's just try it anyways. Uh, tap music. Tap music. Tap music folder. It's because you gotta say it right. Tap Spotify. Tap instrumental music. Play. Tap play. Okay, show number. Never mind, it's already playing. Alright, let me stop it because then it's going to get copyright infringement and all that other stuff. Go home. Alright, go home. Open notes. All right, I didn't even know that the speakers were hooked up to it. Turn off voice control. Execute. Tap execute. All right. So I did all of that, and you can do a whole lot more just by speaking. Uh, I can text somebody, I can read the text message, I can make a phone call, I can get on Facebook, drop a comment, post, Anything that you would regularly use your fingers to scroll up and down or left and right or highlight or copy paste or whatever it might be, I just did it all with that uh, command, voice control. So my voice has the power on this phone to do all of those things. With this, I can uh, text message, I can do emails, I can do calendar events, set up appointments, call people. Uh, answer text or send a text etc 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 all without touching the phone and so oh, I closed it uh, so the reason why I wanted to show you this is because there's power in your words my voice had the power to control the phone without touching it which works perfect not necessarily right now because I'm standing up in front of you or, or in front of the video but it works perfect when you're driving it works perfect when you're maybe doing exercises and you don't want to look at your phone but you still need to do things stuff like that and and so it works amazing that technology is all powered by your voice but this technology with voice command has been around since the beginning of time in the Bible it says that when God spoke he said let there be light and it came to be then he said, now do this, now the water, now the, the sun, now the moon, now people, now animals, 
I mean, I'm out of order, but you get what I'm saying. All of it came to be because he spoke it into existence. I'm just turning on the TV so I, I can see the notes and things like that. So he spoke it into existence because there's power in God's words, but there's also power in your words with this technology, but also with your life. So in the Bible, check this out. It says in Proverbs, oh, it's over here, 18.21, words kill, words give life. They're either poison or fruit, and you get to choose. So technology shows me that my voice has power, but now the Bible says in Proverbs 18.21 that your voice has power as well. Words kill, words give life. They're either poison or fruit, and you get to pick. You have the power to pick, to speak positive into your life, or you have the power to speak negative into your life. You have the power to speak blessings into your life, or you also have the power to speak uh, curses into your life. So I, I know you guys are, we're going through a lot of different things uh, it, it, outside, and we're inside as well in the, in the detention center. We go through so many things, but we got to learn how to speak. Speak life, like the Bible says. Speak fruit, like the Bible says. Maybe you're going through something and you don't see an answer. That's okay. Hey, God, I know that you have my back. I know that you're going to help me pass this test. I know that you're going to help me with this job. I know that you're going to help me with this situation or that situation. Or, or my court and, and the kids in the juvie, my, uh, my court case. I know you're going to help me with, with my lawyer or the attorney. I know you're going to give me favor when I'm in front of the judge so that I can get a lower sentence. Different things. But you have the power to speak it into your life. If all you do is speak negative, guess what's going to come out? Nothing but negative. That's what the Bible says. Poison or fruit. So if all you speak is poison, then that's all you're going to end up getting is poison. Uh, take the time. You Maybe you've never tried this before. Maybe you've never heard this before. Maybe you've never heard this Bible verse before. Take the time. Try it out. Speak positive into your life. What's the worst thing that, that can happen? Nothing. It's already a bad situation. But if you speak life into it, hey God, I, I know I messed up. I, I know... Uh, I'm stubborn, I know I failed, I know I did this, hit and run, or I, I hit this lick, or uh, I, I stole something, I, I did these drugs, but God, I know that you can help me. I know that you can help me out of this situation, I know that you can help me kick off these drugs, I know you can help me fight this situation, or this problem, or this sickness, or whatever it might be. Speak life into it. Things can change. I showed you with the phone that my voice has power. Your voice has power too. Try it out. These next two weeks, a month, try it out. And especially in the detention center, try it out. Something happens and it goes left field. Instead of speaking negative, why don't you take the time and speak something positive? Why don't you take the time and just try it and say, you know what? I got nothing to lose. Hey God, forgive me because, hey help me God because of my anger or whatever it might be. And you want to tell somebody off? Give them a compliment. See what it does. You know, try something different so that you can get somewhere different. So I just wanted to share this little quick message with you. Uh, hopefully, I can keep recording these messages on on the on the phone and be able to upload them to the website so that you guys can uh, hopefully be blessed by the messages and. Um, for for the kids that are inside the detention center and for those of you guys that are outside so that I can upload it to my my website and I can upload it to the 956 blessed app as well so I just wanted to take the time and share this with you guys if this little message blessed you take the time share it on Facebook on on a text message send it to your friends amen but I encourage you I challenge you to try to speak different for the next two weeks or a month you know, all we see is negative around us. All we see is negative on, on social media. All we see is negative when we turn on the news on the TV. Take the time and you speak something different. The world is saying negative and COVID and the numbers and all this other stuff. 
Take the time and you speak life into your life. You speak life into your family. You speak life into your job, into your relationships, into your court case, into your situation. Be a blessing to yourself. Speak fruit into your life, not poison into your life. Amen. I just wanted to share that with you. So let's just take the time to pray. And that's it. We're done. Lord Jesus, I thank you for this little uh, illustration that I was able to share with your people. I hope that it was a blessing to your kids. I hope that it was a blessing to the juvenile detention. I hope that it was a blessing to whoever might end up seeing this video on social media. I thank you for what you're doing in each and every single one of our lives. And I ask you, Lord, to help us, to be with us, and remind us to speak life into our life, not speak poison into our life or into our situations we thank you lord for setting that example thousands and thousands of years ago and it still applies today in my life and in their lives we thank you for what you're doing and what you're going to continue to do amen amen i hope it Shit, we're having